Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm going to test a few more abort scenarios with the Space Shuttle, the Giulio Dondi Space Shuttle and KOS scripts. And just as a review, what I had in the payload last time was 12 tons of av gas placed as you see here and also the docking port arrangement there. The first thing I want to do is remove this and see what happens on the regular RTLS abort that I had last time where we have it uh, losing an engine right away. So that's the first thing. And then I want to go to two engine aborts, but it seems like maybe the KOS scripts aren't ready for that. We'll see. I'll just turn off two engines and we'll see what happens. It might vary depending on the situation. So I'll try and make it work and maybe I'll try to fly it if it doesn't seem to be willing. But two engines out is very difficult. So yeah. So let's just try one engine out without any payload. It is because it didn't seem to go quite right. And I'm also going to change the, the location in the landing sites file so that the stock runway is identical to the KS, the big runway to see if maybe then it'll line up with that. Okay, well, this is the wrong pad. Always have to do that dance with uh, uh, Kerbal Constructs. I'll try morning launches later. Let's just do one sunset one. Oh, OPS one, sorry. Oh, I guess I'll keep everything up. So this time only the docking port arrangement in the front and shutting off one engine. Again, this is the worst sort of situation for one engine loss for RTLS when it loses one early. The later on it loses the engine, the lighter the external tank will be because the three engines have been depleting the fuel faster than two engines would. And so that makes the RTLS aboard easier. Alright, booster set. Okay, we have OMS ignition and the start of the more formal part of the abort. And we will see what it does. Uh, RTLS, abort. I clicked abort this time. I. I I don't think that should change anything, but I just wanted to make sure. We're very directly over the cape, as you can see. You can see the cape right there. Okay, well, it's been hanging out here for a bit, as it does. Uh, pretty soon our OMS propellant should be at a good level. Okay, it's shut off the OMS engines. And it is pitching around. And now boost back. It is dropping during this part. Yeah, I might not have made it clear in the previous video, but it does need to burn the fuel out of the external tank because otherwise the external tank is too heavy to separate cleanly and we also need to get a, to a certain height for external tank separation otherwise it wouldn't be safe to separate the external tank from the shuttle. So it has to be light enough and also high enough. Also we would probably not want the external tank to hit anything on the surface, that's also a consideration, So, but the shuttle glides quite a lot so it's almost certainly going to go into water while the shuttle glides to land. Okay, we are now here. I will make sure that this is auto, auto flaps, auto brake. It reads the KSC runway now, uh, which is obvious because now the KSC runway and the stock runway are identical. So there shouldn't be any preference for one over the other. And I at least know that in theory the 
the location of the KFC runway, the which would be actually the what you might call it, the shuttle landing facility should be good. Should be good. Should be right. The external tank actually explodes, which is somewhat surprising. It should have quite a lot of drag since it's so empty. Load factor 2.2 G's. It is going yellow and 2.3 G's. So it's concerned about that potentially. But now it's down 2.2, 2.1. So again, the difference between this and the uh, attempt in the previous video is that I don't have any cargo in it. Now, it would never be RTLSing without any cargo. It would always have some cargo. Uh, in some cases, it might have too much cargo. Uh, but we had 12 tons before, which is supposed, supposed to be fairly doable. Doing RTLS with... Uh, large payload would be not so great. The Chandra X-ray telescope was the largest payload that the shuttle carried and that was over 22 tons. In theory the shuttle could carry 26 tons but that was only to certain orbits so like the limit to ISS was 15 to 16 tons. So to actually get the 26 tons payload you would have to only be going to a certain kind of orbit and that just never happened. Okay, we can see the cape now. That's all right. We sort of right down the channel this time. That seems good. It's possible that just the choice of runway had been throwing it off. Um, since it was aiming for a misconfigured runway. We'll see. If, if it doesn't hit this runway in any sort of reasonable way, then that might not have been the issue. We'll do a two engine out scenario next, but what I'll do is I'll have the two engines go out a little bit later. So we'll have one engine go out after one minute and then another engine go out at uh, two minutes, right before SRV SIP. I don't know if that's going to cause an error, possibly. And then I'll try and push that and see where exactly we can do two engine out RTLS without it causing an error. I'll do that with payload in the cargo bay. So far this is pretty normal looking compared to what we had last time. Seems a bit close to the runway. Yeah, personally, I would find this way too tight. This just got too much energy for this particular landing. It's just gonna over. It's lined up with this runway. It's just gonna overshoot it by quite a lot. Well, I mean, it's not quite lined up properly. It's lined up over here for some reason. Maybe, maybe it's reading the wrong location by a little bit. I'll have to remap the runways for it, just to make sure. This is probably because of the other shuttle landing facility that I have, maybe. Otherwise it's doing the right thing, it's just that it's got the wrong location for the runway, I suppose. As usual, it's splashing down. Or, no, it's got a runway here. Wait a second. Uh, oh, but it's gonna splash down. <laughs> it just ran out of underland land there. Okay, let me, I'll off camera remeasure the runway and time warp to daylight and uh, we'll try the two engine versions. Alright, so here we are. I've remeasured the runway. It was a little bit off, I think. And that's because I normally have a different model over that runway. There is a weird issue with the runway as I drive the rover to the end over here. The ro rover tends to get stuck on something mysterious. So 
That's one reason why I prefer the other model. But anyway, hopefully this shuttle won't suddenly slam into a wall there. Uh, but we'll find out. So here we go. I'll do the plan. We do have the cargo in the bay, 12 tons in the back there, as I showed before. And I am going to turn off the engines as planned. One after one minute, the other after the second minute. Okay, it's throttling down, and a good time for one to go out is when it tries to throttle up again, potentially. Okay, and one minute. One is out. Okay, he's standing by for SRB set, and then very rudely I turn another one off. So now, single engine roll control it says. So we've got one engine. Contingency not yet implemented, please quit program. Okay, well, um, are you sure you can't do something? Okay, well, all right. Um, oops, not what I wanted to do. You, how do I quit the program? <laughs> okay, look like that. Okay, program ended. All right. Uh, yeah, you can keep pitching like that, but let's activate the OMS engines. Uh, I don't want to stage, so... Okay, kill rotation. Okay. Uh, I'll just try and do it manually. Thank you. Uh, can you go away, though? Uh, it won't go away. <laughs> I assume that means minimize. It sure isn't minimizing, and I can't get rid of it. What can I do with you? And that's now a slider for some reason. Okay, no. Oh no, I turned the engine off! Ah. Oh. Okay, well, fine. Now I can't do that. Let me see if turning the engine off later works. Up with, I'll just have to make sure. I'm trying to do Control C to kill the program. That's what the control for killing a KOS script is. Control C normally, uh, but every time I press C, it went into the cockpit because it wasn't picking up the Control C as a way to kill that program. So that's what was going on. All right. Run OPS. And let me just make sure. No. Um, can you? Like, I want to make sure that my throttle is up. So. Okay. Let's try this again. So, Julio Landi said that uh, two engine out situations which do not result in a contingency, uh, which is late in RTLS, TAL, or abort to orbit, are implemented. So, we'll try that after the ascent trajectory as we're approaching the. Uh, after ascent trajectory one as we're approaching the RTLS dash mark. We'll have two engines go up. We'll see if it does show a message for that. Okay, booster set. We're not as late into uh, RTLS here. I'll wait a little bit longer. And of course, the key here is because we're draining so much more of the fuel, it's easier for it to manage it. Because of our extra speed though, it's going to have to flip around. Well, two engine TAL right now. I don't want two engine TAL. Well, it says contingency not yet implemented quit program. I thought you said two engine TAL. Uh, I apparently can't do that. Okay, well, I guess I'll try it. Let's see again. Taylor, 
probably even more decisively than that. But I really need my delta V reading. Yeah, this late I don't think we can do two engine out and go back. I'll have to try it a little bit closer. This is too far out. We would have to ditch in the water, I think. I don't think we could make... Well, it said two engine out transatlantic, I think. So I guess it could glide that much. But going back is not an option. Okay. I'm gonna try to engine out somehow. I know what I'll do. I'll have it lose an engine when it's already doing the abort. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious as to what's gonna happen. This is science, folks. I mean, I didn't write the program. So I have to figure it out. And so I'm just experimenting with this in different scenarios. So I'll try that. One engine out. And then we'll wait until it's already in the midst of the RTLS support for the second engine. Okay, that's one. I think maybe that's what Gilodondi meant by late in RTLS. I think I misunderstood that. And I'm gonna let it lighten up the load a bit. But it's unclear exactly where it's gonna be happy with two engines being out. I mean, we've got a two engine out blue here. And there might be a message saying that we're okay. And I'll look for that message, but I'm not too sure exactly what that looks like. Powered pitch around. Well, you know what? Alright, if you think that's good, let's see about that. I'll shut off another engine now. Well, continue. Oh, it's not the implemented. Okay, all right, all right. We're still firing the OMS engines, that's fine. I don't know if it's even possible for it to do this with one engine like this. Probably not. I'm thinking that's more or less the problem here. This is perhaps always going to be a ditch in the water scenario. Well, we don't really need the OMS engines on still, but we could sure use their thrust and control. Okay, well, we have to get rid of the external tank at this point. Uh, oh, the OMS engine is still on. I thought I turned them off. Uh, not good, not good. We will ditch in the water. Everybody's favorite scenario. They would parachute out. Alright. Going for the splashdown though. Not not a safe thing to do with the shuttle, generally speaking. Oh, the scatter is producing a weird effect on the water though. Eek. Uh, no, don't go up! Oh gosh, I didn't realize it had that much lift at that speed. I thought we were definitely going to go down. Oh, okay, there we go. We stuck it. We stuck the splash down. <laughs> Turbo Boy and C. Okay, so, well, that's an option. Uh, let's try two engine aboard to orbit. Let's just do that. I think splashing down is ultimately the fate of losing two engines early on anyway. It's just too hard to get rid of all the external tank propellant. But I do want to test that it can land on the runway again. So we'll do the orthodox RTLS support with just one engine one more time at the end. To just demonstrate we've got the payload, we've got the runway measured out and we'll double check that that works. We're at two engine transatlantic aboard. Okay, press to ATO. Well, I'm gonna go for ATO and we are going to go one engine. Engine out detected, abort. Abort ATO. And we are going to lose, hopefully, safely, another engine. Contingency not yet implemented. No, come on. You can do it. 
Uh, well, gosh darn it. Do I have to do everything around here? I mean, it said abort two engine out green. And then contingency not yet implemented. Uh oh. No, the external tank's gonna blow up. Oh. Uh, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> well, that's a load off, but that's not gonna work out for us, is it? Well, how late do I have to turn off the second engine for it to work out? These two engine abort scenarios, I mean. You better not lose two engines, let me put it that way. One more time. There's like glutton for punishment territory here. Booster set. Okay, well, we are well past press to ATO here. No, no, I'm not pressing to Miko. <laughs> but, um, let me shut one engine down. Engine out detected. Uh, it's not even letting me pick ATO there, though. It should abort to orbit. So that's just one engine, though. It's even rolling. It's very comfortable right now. Speed-wise, we're about halfway to orbit. Uh, Time-wise, that's not the case. Okay. Contingency not yet implemented. Oh, gosh. Okay, fine. If I, if I, I'll do it this time. I'll do it this time. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, activate. I'm gonna try and go 90 actually right now. I think we have enough velocity. I mean, uh, Delta V. Oh, the external tank blew up. Okay, we will need to do that a little bit more steeply. I think it's doable. <laughs> but, but, you know what? I'll save that for some other time. This is now pear-shaped again. Uh, I'm going to try the return to launch site with one engine out with the payload in the bay to make sure it works. We need, we, we deserve to get one clean one done. I think we can all agree on that. So let's see if we can do it cleanly with it run, landing on the runway with one engine out, return to launch site. Aboard with the shuttle. Not great overall. <laughs> Not great overall. Okay, uh, I'm gonna kill the engine now. So, I'm very clear about it, but I'm not gonna take out any more engines. Alright, booster set. It should be in, I guess, RTLS mode. I'm this time not gonna touch anything. Okay, it has turned off the OMS engines and it's pitching over. Fairly decisively. Alright, approaching cutout here. Power pitch down. And Cut out. Separation. All right, down we go. Let's see if it works this time. Let's start at this. I will set auto, auto, auto. And it's floating right to the top there. 
I'm sure it'll correct that soon. Okay, we're in that channel there. Load factor 1.2G at the moment. Going up slightly. And the haze is making it hard to see the cape right now. Uh, I think it's over here. Pretty far. But at our speed it's okay. Okay, it is turning. There's an S turn, so it's trying to bleed off some energy. You can see it's above the central channel here. And turning more. Overhead turn. All right, looking good so far. And it is turning. Okay, let's see if it lines up properly. For me, this is still a little bit closer to the runway. Okay, well, it is lined up here. Alright, well, seems safe. Let's see it pull up. Here we go. And landing gear coming down. Flaring just a bit. And touchdown. Okay, and I better apply the brakes. Right down the center line, no problems. Well, it's about time we got a clean one, right? Okay, I'd better end right there. <laughs> we got a good one, a good RTLS one engine though. Yeah. Two engines, two engines is fraught, let's face it. Two engines is fraught. You had better lose two engines late in whatever phase it is, otherwise you're just not getting rid of the fuel before the external tank blows up. <laughs> so that is what I've discovered. I think the only thing really left for me to examine is transatlantic aborts, which I wanted to do separately. So we're going to take a look at the transatlantic aborts uh, separately, especially after I make sure there are runways for it, for it to abort to. And yeah, once I place the runways for it to abort to, then we'll try those out. But for now, as far as IRTLS or abort to orbit, I, I think I'm satisfied that I'm done uh, seeing what I can abort with. And two engines is, is so not happening. <laughs> anyway, uh, with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.